What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. This is 2005. This can also be done in 2008. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to restore a database that I took from my hosting provider because right now I am unable to access any of my websites. There's a problem with our internet connection, our modem equipment that makes it to where I can't access none of my websites. So I've got to download my database. I've got to uh, import my database or restore it into my version of SQL Server on my system in order to work with my database. Then I've got to upload it once I can access all my sites. I've got to upload the database with all the new information. So, this is what we're going to do. Okay, we come over here, we right click, and then we come to Task. Then we come to Restore Database. You get this page right here so this is our destination and restore so what we want to do is come down and from database we want to choose from device click on the ellipse button leave it on file choose add and then this right here is where our backups are usually kept however if you get a database from another server then you got to figure out where that server keeps its database locations at well my hosting provider keeps its databases located inside of D, MS SQL dot one, MS SQL data, and then this right here is how you get your backup databases. So this is the one that we want. This is our darkeffects.com database. Want to grab a hold of it, click on OK, and then click on OK again. Okay, so that's not all that we do. We can't just come down here and click OK. If we click OK, then it's going to give us this error right here. The backup set holds a backup of a database other than the existing DCOM database. However, I do have this information up on our knowledge base website, which is cffkb.com. If you do a search on that website for uh, restore database, you will come up with this information. However, I am unable to access it. So, we come over here to script, and once the script opens, we can close out of that. This right here is what we get in our script. Okay, so what it is is that it says restore database DCOM from disk in, then it gives the path and the backup database name with file equals one, no unload, stats equal 10, then go. We're going to replace that with this code right here okay what we want to do is that we want to take this code right here we want to uh, use this in place of this so what we do is that we come over here and we change this to the name of our database the name of our database is dcom and so that's what we're going to type in right here d-e-c-o-m okay now this location here will take on this so then we will paste that here. So this is what we get. Restore database DCOM from disk location, the backup file name with replace. Okay, then we come over here. We remove that because we no longer want that because we do not want to access it. So then we click on execute. And then we should get this. Proceed 192 pages for database DCOM file C3 whatever DCOM on file proceed two pages for database DCOM file on file one restore database successfully processed 194 pages in 0.394 seconds so this right here is how you restore a database if you grab that database from another server and so uh, all right Wayne Barron here with darkfaces.net y'all have a rocking rest of the week or beginning of the week. Today is Monday. Totally lost my weekend. All right, y'all have a rocking one. Bye-bye.